everybody, it's Pam and Bill at Country Living Newbie Custom Decor in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Welcome to Sunday Night Live. And as soon as Bill gives me the thumbs up that folks are joining, what are you looking for your glasses? No, I found them. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're good. We're good? Hey, first time this time. Yeah. First time in about <laughs> a, one time. a month. I know, it's crazy. Okay, so welcome guys. Um, we put a couple links up in the description. So, um, We'd love for you to come join us over on our page uh, and uh, uh, follow us over there. So we're at Country Living Newbie Custom Decor. My name is Pam, my husband Bill's behind the camera. And we are an elite Dixie Bell retailer in Middle Tennessee. We also put the link to find your retailer and our affiliate link as well if you don't have a local retailer. And also the Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast group. Make sure you get on over there and join that. Tons of inspiration over there. Am I pinning something? Woo! No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so tonight we are transferring and decoupaging on glass. Hey, Deb. So the, Bill is lucky tonight because he's only going to have to wash one little brush. We're not even using paint. One little brush with satin clear coat. So he's getting off easy tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So the original project we were going to do... Um, we're gonna do something else <laughs> because I have to do a little, a little fixing up. So this was, you've probably seen these before. Let me turn it the way it normally is. So it's usually like this. And this is one of those doors to those old cabinets with the real pretty, um, what do they call them? Kind of Victorian style, um, the real pretty legs. And this was a, a door that we had left over. We had removed it and made the rest of the cabinet into a wine bar. And I found this door downstairs and I thought, hey, we need to use this. So we're gonna make it look like a window and we're gonna turn it this way. And we are gonna use the Field of Flowers transfer on it. But when I did it, <laughs> even though I measured it out, measure twice, cut once, <laughs> uh, I put it over too far. So now we're gonna have to put a little strip of wood here and make it look more like a window pane and then we'll probably paint the outside. I'm kind of experimenting with what to do there. So that was what we were going to do until I had to do a uh, <laughs> quick about face and come up with something else. So we all get these chippy windows, right? Who does not love a chippy window? So we have tons of these um, and you can get them relatively cheap. Um, usually antique stores are just, they're not a whole lot of money. I think we got this for, I don't know, five or six bucks. So we are going to decoupage on the bottom and we're gonna put some transfers on the top. I already cleaned the piece really well and I just scraped off all the chippy paint. Um, just be careful with these panes because if the glazing is coming off on the back, you could lose your, use your glass. Um, so just be careful with that. These we got for free. These we got for free? These, I was, <clears throat> oh, yeah. that's when I, I made a trip to the, the yeah. landfill and there was a guy with a pickup truck full of old windows. <laughs> and I said, uh, what, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing with those? <laughs> so I'm just throwing them out. I said, I would love to have them if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, we had tons of that, them. That was a good deal. We had tons that of them. A... All right, so we're gonna use the Floral Romance Transfer. Um, I actually used part of this on another project, so I have some pieces left over that we're going to cut up, and uh, I did that before we came on, so you didn't have to painfully watch me cut around flowers, because <laughs> uh, it's it would have been painful to watch. So I tried to choose patterns where there was a corner and then a clean cut around the flower. Because the pattern is continuous, it comes in four, uh, at least four sheets, I think. I can't remember if it's four or six, I think it's four. Um, so you kind of have to be strategic if you're putting it on something with a clear background. So the transfer is going right on the glass, and I have this, as usual, in stages. Okay, so I slick sticked the bottom panes, so what you're seeing here, the white is just slick stick, no paint. See if I can get this off. Okay. So I just two coats of slick stick. If you're decoupaging, there's really no need to paint because we're going to cover it up anyway. But it's always good to put something white behind your decoupage paper. That way your colors will pop a little bit more. 
This is the pallet wood rice paper. It's very popular. <coughs> I see it used in a lot of projects and for good reason. It is super vintage and just really, just really cool looking. So this one is actually on. It's already decoupaged. So we did that one. We're going to do this one. It's already cut out. And then I'll show you how I cut out um, the third piece. We did one transfer here. We got one cut out and ready to go. And then we'll see if we get time to put one in the middle there. All right, and guys, make sure you say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if you're new to Dixie Bell or new to um, watching us. We want to hear. We want to hear it all. All right. So when you um, when you decoupage, you want to make sure you have a nice, smooth surface because you will see bumps if your um, you know if your paint is. Uh, uh, built up or you have something caught in there. So you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. The decoupage won't hide that. And you want to make sure it's uh, dry because we're going to put a coat of Dixie Bell's clear coat. We're going to use that as our decoupage medium. So there's lots of things you can use. Um, Mod Podge is probably the one you're most familiar with, but the satin clear coat works phenomenal. So um, we all had that around, right? Because we all have our Dixie Bell's satin clear coat. So you can use that to decoupage. And so let me show you the, um, the way these come. They come three in a package. And so this is the palette one. There is a border around them. So they come with this little border that you'll have to cut off depending how you're putting it on your piece. I wanted to make sure I had sharp corners, so I went ahead and cut them all off. We're right on Main Street, so it's loud. All right, so when you decoupage... Um, Peggy Hawley in Indiana, apparently it is stinking hot there. Oh, it's brutal. I know, here we are, summer, right? Crazy. All right, so um, there's a ton of ways to decoupage. I'm going to kind of show you the traditional way of um, using your medium and then putting your paper on, and then while it's still wet, putting your top coat on. Uh, you can iron it. Guys, you can, there's a saran wrap method that's really cool um, with the iron. So there's lots of ways to do this, but this is kind of the traditional way. Um, so let's get started. Uh, oh, so I wanted to show you too. On the bottom of this window is going to be a shelf. So I don't want to tilt it up, obviously, because I have clear coat on there. But we're going to have a stained shelf on here, and then we'll hang this up, and it'll be an awesome piece of wall decor. All right, and if you guys have um, questions about what we're using tonight, we keep it all on the chalkboard, but feel free to ask questions as well, because the chalkboard's not always uh, in sight. All right, so when you decoupage, try to work in small sections. If I go and put my clear coat on this whole entire thing, and then I try to put my paper down, and it's sticking down there, or sticking up here, I'm trying to get the wrinkles out, and, you know, things are going on down here, it gets a little... Um, difficult to manage. So I always try to just do in sections and I work my way down. Um, you want to make sure you get a good coat of clear coat underneath. If you miss some spots, that's where you're going to start to see your bubbles as it's drying. So make sure, you know, while you're not overdoing it, you're also not missing any spots. I don't think you want it to puddle. Right, no but you, But you definitely want a good heavy coat. Right. Yeah, especially on these edges, so make sure you kind of get in there. And I'm only, I'm probably only doing three to four inches. And I'm going to do this up, to, uh, I don't know if I can do it upside down. So we're going to put this in, and the rice paper is a little more forgiving than, say, a tissue paper. So you can put it down, and you can pick it up. And you don't want to do that, you know, over and over, but it does let you do it um, a little bit. Once tissue paper gets wet, it's <clears throat> pretty, pretty much over. <laughs> so I'm going to take some rolled up saran wrap. You're not going to see this quite yet, but you will as I start to get it down. I'm going to just push my wrinkles out. 
and I'm going to get those corners and then I'm going to roll my paper back with a little bit of the clear coat showing. So I have about a half inch of clear coat under here that I'm going to overlap with my new layer. Uh, you want to be careful. You don't want to take all this and put it right up against your paper because then you get this line of buildup. So start a little bit further down and then you can work it back up. and just work in small sections and roll it down as you go. And I'm going to be a little short on this side, but I'm not going to pull it up because I'm not too worried about it. It'll match with the white, so we'll just go with it. Take your saran wrap, work your way down, get your wrinkles out, don't overwork it, just do it enough to get your wrinkles out. And we should be able to get our last layer in here. And I'm starting down here, and I'm not putting a big blob right up against my paper. are going to, are going to um, level out. It may not look like it, but they will. <clears throat> so Rebecca's asking why plastic wrap? It's just <clears throat> more gentle on the paper. So if you're rubbing it with your finger, you might tear the paper. Rice paper is more, um, it's a little more tough than um, like a decoupage tissue paper. So it's, um, you know, it'll probably withstand your hand, but I just find that saran wrap run, rolls across the, the paper and just smooths it all out real easily. We tried tin foil, we tried bags of rocks, didn't, <laughs> didn't work so well, you know, we went with the, the saran wrap. Yeah, it's just, it just seems to work the best. I mean, do you have to use it? No. You certainly don't, but I just find it works good. Okay, so uh, I guess I don't want to put this on yet because I haven't cut the paper yet. <laughs> Whoopsie. So if you guys watch us, you know, we try to do the projects in stages so you can kind of see a finished one, a uh, halfway finished one, and then one from the beginning. So that's kind of what we're doing here on this last one. Although I did, I did cut the edge of my paper. So again, you didn't have to watch that part. But you do want to try to leave a little bit uh, extra just because like over here where I ran out of uh, window or paper, you want to have a little bit of leeway. So I'm just, I'm going to push this in both sides and then I'm going to take a razor blade. Razor blade, where are you? Probably find it the hard way. <laughs> All right, Go to commercial. <laughs> commercial break. I'm gonna blindly reach in and grab a razor blade. <laughs> oh my God, hang on. Okay, so I'm gonna take 
So we're going to we use our little transfer stick here. Just kind of push it in. And we're off to the ER. <laughs> I can't do this upside down. i got to come around this way. Actually, I found some stitches in the first aid kit. We oh, can good. Just... We'll just stitch me out? Yeah. Fabulous. Actually, I would trust you to do that. All right. I'm going to come across the back. I've stitched a trach or two. <laughs> and guys, save your, um, your decoupage straps. Because... <laughs> There's always some little projects or something that they they'll be perfect on. So never get rid of your little like your little transfer scraps, your little leaves <coughs> and things. They always come in handy. Okay, so this one goes this way. And I think we're good. <laughs> what? Debbie Debbie Thompson says crazy glue. You are not kidding. <clears throat> For what? for wounds? Oh. Yeah. Oh, you glued that. You've done that. Oh, I've done that many times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So they, they use make, it. They use it in the OR. <laughs> we want to make sure, you know, if you have things like that, make sure you get that off. You don't want that getting in your under your paper. And we're gonna start at the top. Try your best not to um, get where you don't want the paper to stick. Um, on this, it's not so bad, but like if you're doing a drawer and maybe just the front panel of a drawer, don't get the clear coat where you don't want the paper to stick because then you really, it'll be harder to sand it off on the edge. Nancy Bivens says, now I have to find a window. <laughs> I am like addicted to these windows now. I just did another one um, with another transfer on it with a little shelf. It was a, a leftover uh, piece of transfer that I had from another company, which I will not name because <clears throat> Dixie Bills transfers are the bomb. <laughs> but I, um, I had another one. I had some to use up. And I put it on a double pane window uh, with a shelf, and dang, it's cute. All right, so we're gonna pull back just to where we can see our last little bit of clear coat there. We're gonna put our next layer on. Not going right up against the paper. Because do you see what happens when you go in with your brush, you get this big blob, and if that is right by your paper, you uh, you just don't want that. So just make sure you start a little bit lower, and then work your way back up once your brush is offloaded. Deb says she has three old windows in her barn. Oh, fabulous! Well, you may want to give one to. Uh... Yeah, who needed one? <laughs> Nancy Bivens. Nancy. <laughs> Guys gotta hook up. Last little bit of clear coat here, getting in all those edges. Now you can, uh, you can wait till this bottom layer, until this dries, and do your, your second coat. It doesn't matter. It'll still work, but just kind of nice once you have it out, just kind of get it done. Get her done. And so now is the time, all right, if I see some wrinkles up here, I'm just going to kind of work those out before I get my next coat on. Because once I put my next coat on, <coughs> 
You don't want to mess with it. Jackie Miles is asking, where do you get the rice papers? The rice papers are um, from the bells and whistles flying from Dixie Bell. So if you have a local retailer that carries the bells and whistles products, then you can get it there. Um, if you don't have one, I have a link up in the description. And it's an affiliate link, so when you order, you don't pay any more, but I get a little bit from your sale. That way I can get more stuff to do more projects for you guys. And eat. And eat. <laughs> Eating is good. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. We had a great response with our affiliate link. Um, so I just actually just placed a nice order of some fun things. So it does help us out. But always support your local retailer first. They're a wealth of knowledge. Get in there, get in the booth or the store. All right, so now we do not want to worry about this anymore, right? We see some wrinkles kind of popping up in, the, in our other one. Do not worry about it. Do not mess with it. Just walk away. It's hard to, I can't see any wrinkles even from here. Yeah, I mean, I see them. I'm sure they can't see it on the camera, but they're there. They're, they're, there are a few. Now this one I already did, so it's starting to level out pretty well, but it's still, um, it's still a little damp under there. All right, so uh, floral romance transfer. We're gonna put some of that on the top. I even originally even thought about the magnolia one, but I felt like the colors in the floral lace one went a little bit better. I felt like these were two kind of, <clears throat> Because the flowers are pink, you know, kind of pinks and greens. Yeah. So I think those maybe go a little bit better. So I did this one in the corner. And then I found another piece that I cut out that will go in that corner. Because you don't want to like, you know, <laughs> you don't want to put half a flower there. So you kind of have to work with. So should you cut out the white portion in there? No, because that's going to be clear. That's clear? That's okay. Clear. Yeah. So I didn't need to cut any of that out and I'll show you why. Now, where it butt up against other flowers, I had to cut butt up. butt up right on there. So here we are just going to, now on glass, you got one chance. <laughs> you know, if it's on a painted surface, you generally only have one chance as well, but sometimes you can move it a little bit. But on glass, guys, once your transfer hits the glass, you are committed. <laughs> So, get it right, or you'll be covering it up, working it, working to cover it up, so. And it's ruined. <laughs> now, doing a transfer on, once you get it down, the transfer is like, uh, so easy to, to transfer. It's actually, I mean, it's, the Dixie Belt ones are great even on paint, uh, a painted surface, because some, some of them are, you know, other companies, they're, they're, they're kind of hard to get on. Uh, but the Dixie Bell ones, super easy. What's not super easy is to get a little edge. <laughs> super easy. Like Wile E. Coyote, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, no, that was super genius. Oh, super genius. Yeah. Okay, so when you're doing your transfer, um, put some tension in the opposite direction. So I'm pulling a little bit towards me and I'm pushing <coughs> away. And do it at the same time and you're tra it will literally kind of transfer itself. And you'll see it start to change the, um, the paper. It'll get opaque, uh, opaque or transparent. It'll oh, get where oh, the transfer is not on there. Opaque is you can't see through it. Trans, <laughs> translucent. It'll get translucent. There we go. As the design starts to leave. But if you give it a little tension as you go, you'll see how quick this goes on. So Tammy Burkle has a cute little uh, tip. Yes. Try tape to help pull that little edge up. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, so if you just put a little piece of tape on the edge there. Pulls it right up. That's fantastic. <clears throat> See that? What a great tip. 
All right. She's going to be a guest on our show next week. Yeah. <laughs> so um, come to Tennessee. Fabulous. I love that. See, I, sometimes some, something so simple makes things so much easier, right? But you don't think of it. And you guys probably can't see what's going on right now, but we're done. So, I mean, on, on glass, super easy. Now, you still want to... Maybe, maybe you should... <clears throat> tell people that they really need to be careful when they're pressing on glass. Oh, especially on this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Depending on the thickness of the pane, some window panes, especially older glass, <clears throat> can be very, very thin. And if you push too hard, you will break it. Yeah. And like we said in the beginning, if the glazing, which on these old windows, a lot of times the glazing is like... Um, oh, you'll push the window just right out of its <laughs> glazing. Yeah. Out, yes. Um, and if you guys don't know what I mean by glazing, we'll, we'll show you in a second here. So now I'm just, I'm not rubbing hard because we're not going to seal these, right? They're on glass, so I'm not going to go putting a clear coat over, um, let's try a little. So when you have, when you have a transfer on glass, um, you just don't want to put like a clear coat over that because it's going to make your glass not pretty. Now, if the transfer like this one is over the whole thing, then you could do that. But this is going to be hanging on a wall. You know, the chances of it coming off are slim. So I probably won't even worry about it even there. But you still kind of want to push it down. And I'm not rubbing hard. I'm, I'm just kind of smoothing it out. And we're done. <clears throat> so I'm undecided. I'm undecided whether I want to cover this whole window or just maybe do a part. Would it look funky if I do the whole thing? I think it might. Yeah, I think it might. I almost need maybe something coming down from the top. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What if... Uh, see if we can get one of these purple. So this might be a good opportunity to show you how to layer. Let's, let's go ahead and do this one because it's fairly simple to cut out. We're just going to cut the edge and the backing's still on, so don't cut it while the backing's off because your scissors will stick to the, to the sticky part of the transfer. So we got Jackie saying up from the bottom. Yeah, I think I'm going to do like maybe one <clears throat> and then do one up from the bottom as well. From the bottom here, yeah. We got Melissa, no I'm sorry, Marissa Rapier saying don't cover it at all. That. I mean, we could do that, but we need stuff to do on the video. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to do too much. I think I'll... Um, Try it from the bottom up. I, so I think we'll have to... We'll have to cut here. Either way, we have to cut this purple one out. Yeah. So let's do this. So where there's dead space, you don't need to, like, cut right around. Okay, because that's clear. You don't, it, you're not going to see it anyway. But if, obviously where the flowers meet, if you don't want to see that red flower, then you kind of have to cut it right on the edge. So again, like right here, I don't have to worry about that. That's clear. So if we put one there, don't forget you can layer. So I have this leaf. Um, you just gotta be careful when you layer. You wanna make sure you get what you want where you want it. So like I wouldn't wanna put this on and then go, oh, I think I'm gonna put my leaf on top, right? Cause it doesn't, yeah, that it doesn't silly. make sense. So, <clears throat> you know, I might wanna put it Maybe coming out. Yeah, from underneath, under, underneath probably there, do better. Or do we want to have it like 
coming from the back. It depends on if you're going to put another flower or, or something. Or do we go up? Yeah. Jackie Miles says, put a picture in the bottom or word family. Where? On the cell? Or here? I don't know. Where, where Jackie? <laughs> All right, well, I think if we do that, we should maybe either have it trailing up or we should have something trailing down over here. So let's put, we'll put this one on. And remember, once it's down, it's down. Maybe it should go on the side. <laughs> no. How about no? Now we could, <clears throat> we could, let's cut this out. We could layer that one over. Let's get this one on. Well, I was like, <laughs> felt like the top was already off. Amber Demaxkowitz uh, was yeah. doing a window and she cut herself pretty good on oh. a broken pane. No, no. Yeah, you gotta be so careful. And I am, I'm pressing hard, but you really don't need to press hard with the, with the transfers on the glass. Oh, oh. Piece of tape. Oh my gosh, I love that. So again, I'm just kind of pulling back towards me, a little bit of tension. And whichever way I'm going, I'm just kind of pulling the opposite way. All right. I feel, don't you, I feel like we need some greenery. Ooh, sorry about that. What if, ooh. Something in the opposite corner? Yeah, what if we just did like that? That leaf is not I a full can, leaf. I know, but I can... Cover it with another leaf. Right? Why not? Let's kind of work the corners. <laughs> Probably didn't sound very good. <laughs> Pretty sure that's illegal. You okay on time? 7.32. Awesome. Feels weird not painting anything. Phil's like, do this every time. Never have to wash a paintbrush again. What was I doing with this? Oh, so I was doing that. Just the leaves. And then, do we want to keep this? I guess you could, right? No, you can't because it's. I know, I have to layer that part too. No, because the pink flower is covering the red flower. I know, but if I took that off, I could, I could. You got any more leaves? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got a whole sheet. Yeah, you know what I should have done? Is maybe this, but I don't want to take time. Let's, let's do this and then I'll see if I can just put another leaf over that because I think that's pretty big you know we don't want something real huge Ooh. you cut yourself I might I'll be right back <laughs> getting the stitches Day, guys um, maybe we'll try to come up with a Father's Day project of sorts see what we can do oh maybe Bill will do the live it's Father's Day I know you should do it 
for all the dads out there and husbands and or all the dads that won't be watching <laughs> all the moms will be watching We'll give you some no paint gel stain and we'll let you do like some staining or something. I think. Nope. And then I'll do the camera. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> all right. This is what I was trying to save you all from seeing before, which is why I cut everything out. <laughs> all right, so. <clears throat> They need to see the process. If we do that, it's still kind of a weird leaf. I think I need to go over it. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, because the, the bottom leaf, look at the bottom leaf. It's got a circle cut out of it. Right. It's got the semicircle. So you got to put that one down first and then cover it with the other leaf or something. Might be or something. We'll see. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> and I'm down. <laughs> Get my piece of tape. the direction you usually go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So there's a little <clears throat> piece of... Um, I'm going to try to get close up here. There's a little piece of the edge here that just kind of bothers me. So I think we can... Scrape it, yeah. Scrape it off. I'm gonna show the leaf, the circle that was taken out of the leaf. What this? Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we cut <clears throat> out. That's where the flower was. But. So it looks real silly unless we put a caterpillar on it and make it look like it was being eaten by caterpillar. What do you think? Yeah, that works. So you can layer the transfers. Don't be afraid. Just be careful um, if you're at the edge. Right? If you're pushing, you don't want to push off uh, onto your other transfer. You might pull it off. Oops. Sorry, I know we're you're fine. shaking. There's this little stem there. Yeah. Perfect. Good to go. So now we don't have a a caterpillar eating leaf anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we didn't do the whole the whole thing. All right, let's lift it up. Speaking of which, I got to get that orthene. Orthene. The this dust for the tomato plants. Oh, let me show you what I mean by the glazing, guys. If you have not worked with these um, old windows, so this part here is what holds your window in, and you can see it's missing from like all around, you know, except for down here. here. Here's a good example here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so the window, you know, you gotta be really careful. This is your glazing and over the decades, it dries and cracks and then just falls out. Yeah, so just and, be, whoa. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only thing holding your, your window glass, yeah. your window pane in place. Like there's a piece here. It's about ready to pop out. <laughs> and you can buy the glazing, right? Yeah, it's, it's, messy. It looks <clears throat> it's, it's messy. It's, I have a couple of tubes of it in the house. All right, so um, when we end this video, guys, jump over to our page at Country Living Newbie. Uh, I'm gonna stain this board with the no paint gel stain in walnut. And then this is gonna become a shelf for this window. And this might just go in my house. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so if you guys do a window makeover, post it for everyone to see. Let us know what you use. But this is just a really cool um, idea. And this, I mean, this is nothing to put a little piece of wood on the bottom there. Yeah. In fact, we got a question um, from Terry Ann. What's the wood on the bottom three panes? Oh, this? This is, this is the rice paper. It's pallet wood uh, rice paper from Nixie Bell. Isn't that cool? I think this is one of the most used ones I see. A lot of people do their videos with it. It's just, it's so pretty. And I painted white behind it. Let's turn this around. I mean, you can decoupage on glass, but uh, I put slick stick on this because when you put white behind your decoupage paper, it just makes the colors a whole lot brighter. And then I just put the paper right over the slick stick. I didn't paint it or anything, but yeah, that's this paper. Nancy Bevan's asking, how do we attach the wood? Basically, I'll <clears throat> drill probably three or four holes. Where? For the shelf, I think, is what she's yeah, talking no, about. Yeah, no, where are you drilling? I thought someone might ask that, actually. I drill a hole here, 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 and here. Straight through the window. It's far enough away from the where the glass is, so it won't hit the glass. Um, and then just put some screws through on the other side, on the back side, and make sure they're long enough to go through the whole window and into the shelf. Oh, so you're going to screw through... You're going to screw all the way through? Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, so drill a hole all the way through and then put your screw through the back. Yep. Yep. And um, if you guys um, follow us over onto our page after this, we, you know, Bill can talk a little bit more um, about how to do that. All right, guys. No paint tonight. Oh, found my razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> no paint tonight, but... Um, I support your local retailers, okay? If you don't have one, use our link there. Get yourself some fun bells and whistles stuff and deck out your windows. All right, guys, we appreciate you being here. Um, we will see you next Sunday night, Father's Day. And who knows, maybe we'll get Bill to come on camera and kind of do Father's Day dance or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a, good, uh, have a good rest of your week and uh, many blessings, and we'll see you soon.